Hi, I'm Jordan Bradshaw, and, and this is the Jordan Bradshaw. Everybody, I'm Jordan Bradshaw. This is the Jordan Brad Show. We're here at the We Get Networking event in Houston, Texas. I'm here today with John Fuggin Doe. And please say the fuggin. Yes, yeah. the two G's. You know what I'm saying? We're not cursing. We're not cursing. Yeah. What's going on, sure. bro? Not too much, man. So how did you come up with the name John Fuggin Doe? <laughs> uh, that's the number one question I gotta know. Nah, right I got you, that. I got you. So John Doe is D-O-U-G-H, Doe is malleable, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I'm constantly growing, reshaping myself, things mm -hmm. like that. And then uh, the fucking was just with flair, you know what I'm saying? Just to add a little spice on it. Mm -hmm. I used to go by fucking amazing, so yeah. I just kind of threw that in there because, you know, why not? Yeah. Who gives a, a fuck? You know Who gives saying? a fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> that's spot cool on. Cool as hell, bro. Nah, but nah, but that, that's all it was, man. It was just a cool. And I thought it'd be uh, cool to be a famous John Doe. You know? Yeah, so yeah. That's why. I, all of it came together just over here. Yeah, years, yeah. Right? No, I love that. Like when I was like looking at the name, you know, you have like your way of spelling it in your head when you yeah. hear it. Yeah. But then when you like see it spelled out, and I saw like the dough spelled like like uh, like yeah, dough yeah, boy or yeah, something. Exactly. Yeah, you know. Exactly. Exactly. It was like, oh, okay. Yeah, right? you know what I'm saying? I'm a rapper. Yeah. You know, I gotta, I gotta yeah, yeah. Up, you know what I'm saying? So when you rap, what is it that you mostly try to rap about? Man, and people have been asking me that, and it's 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 always been a hard thing because it's not like. I don't keep myself in the box. I don't keep remaking the mm. same song. Amen. So um, the next project sounds different than the last one. I always try to keep some 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 bass lines. I, I want the lyricism to be there. I want it to be fun. I want to be able to tell a story. And uh, I want to provide my perspective. You know, so I, I do those things. So it's going to be a little bit of life music. It's going to be, I make some conscious box. Yeah, so it'll yeah. be like, you bob your head to it, and then it got an undertone of some mm -hmm. shit that you can learn up in there. So just a little bit, little bit of everything going on, but just overall, I'm just a uh, lyricist that have fun with this music. I'm from Louisiana, so I throw that flavor in there. Mm -hmm. and just try to keep that coming at a time, keep it fresh. Cool. So what was it like coming over from like Louisiana to Texas? Man, so I've been here over a decade now, so you okay. know what I'm saying? I'm kind of like yeah. warmed up to it. I don't have no swingers on the car, nothing like that. I don't say <laughs> coming down. I still say, you know, I still got yeah. my lingo, but yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Houston is bigger. Houston is bigger by itself. Texas is bigger overall. Mm. You can learn a lot more. You get to see a lot more culture. You get a lot more different variety as far as the people that you see, the sites that you see, the types of clubs that's out here. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit less violence you did. So it's just, you know, for me, it was just um, it was about new opportunities and stuff like that. And I feel like I got, I got enough of that, and I don't lose sight of home. I don't lose the foundation of home. And then there's a lot of Louisiana people out here, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, absolutely. So for me, it's just like a merging of the cultures. It's just a bigger gumbo pot. Mm -hmm. I've seen like a lot of artists who used to grow up or like have grown up in Louisiana who have come over here. I mean, like, uh, if you listen to like Frank Ocean, for instance, like yep, he from talks a lot from about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like coming over, still coming over to like Houston. Um, and so it's been like seeing like a lot of that come over and I think it's just been improving the Texas scene even more. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I mean, I think there used to be a point where it was like, if you were from New Orleans, you got the game, you know? <laughs> and then now it's like, it's starting to like switch around. It's been kind of going different places. And I feel like now like Texas is one of those places where it's yeah. like, oh, you're from Texas, you gotta be good. Oh yeah, it's a hub. Thing. It's a mm -hmm. hub, man. Um, Houston especially is a hub. It's like, you know, it's the, it's the, it's its own, like yeah. its own uh, market. Like Texas yeah. by itself is like its own market. They got some of the bigger underground artists that's mm -hmm. out here from Houston and different places. So you could just roam Texas and that could be the market by itself. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you could just become a millionaire just in Texas from what I'm hearing. So for me, it's like, you just gotta stay consistent, stay on and be out here. You know what I mean? But yeah, Texas is a beautiful place, bro. I, mm -hmm. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I love it. It's cool. It's not home, but yeah, it's Texas. You know yeah, yeah, it's cool. It's Texas. <laughs> kind of going back to your name, like uh, one of the things that also came to mind, like you had even mentioned, like you do a lot of conscious rap. Mm -hmm. um, I always think back to like I think it was the Fuji's, right? Had that line that was like, "And I throw a motherfucker in there, so you ignorant ones will hear me," right? Yeah. And it's like, like that within itself, like being able to create the consciousness while at the same time kind of having that hype behind it. Like I really love what you're doing with music. I appreciate it, man. But yeah. to me, I kind of do the opposite. It's like oh, I throw yeah. the conscious in there so, so I can get people to think, but I might throw too many motherfuckers in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah. I kind of come from just a baseline of just like, mm -hmm. I just I just talk it how I think it for the yeah. most part. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I always kind of, I just try to balance. Mm -hmm. I just try not to be too much of one thing at one time because then people put you in a box. Amen. You know, so that's the main thing. I, I probably say more motherfuckers than I, I should. And then I, you know, squeeze in like, oh, I'll be thinking about stuff too. 
Yeah. Um, you know, in my personal life, I, I do more to think than to curse them. And then I just, mm -hmm. you know, like I said, just flip flop. Next thing you do, it might be R&B. I might be singing on y'all. Hey, hey, that would be cool too. <laughs> you know, Get a little bit of Drake going in there. Yeah, just, man. You know, yeah. I, you know, you gotta do it. So, uh, well, I mean, like that's one of the other things. Like listening to you, like you, like the way that you're so smooth with like your flow and everything. It almost felt sometimes like it was like melodic, basically. Like you're oh, singing while you're rapping. You know, it's just like smooth. With I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, I, of I come, I come from like just rapping just to show the people that I can rap. Mm -hmm. And then as I just spent more time doing it, I was like, I proved it to myself, I proved it to other people. So now I can just take my time and try there to make go. better music versus just better verses. Mm -hmm. And then that's, that's been making music fun all over again. So that's why I, nowadays it's hard for me to describe because I'm like, hey. something might inspire me tomorrow that makes me just try something new. You know what hey, I'm saying? Hey, Amen. Yeah. So who is it that inspired you in the first place? Um, like who are some of the artists you grew up listening to and like wanting to emulate? Well, so from and living in new orleans but also having an influence from a lot of different places you know we had beastie boys mm. local new orleans artists jay-z bone thugs all of that in one house you know mm -hmm. and you know family members smoking you know mary jane so mm -hmm. throw a little bit of reggae in there whatever the case is you know what i'm saying yeah, so it's yeah. like it was a little bit of everything going on but just it was just different types of originality, different types of authenticity going on. So I was just able to hear a lot of perspectives. And I think that was the biggest thing. Mm, I completely get that. Yeah. So the other thing that I feel like within hip hop, everybody's kind of got their own thing as far as like, maybe you have like the best beats, maybe you have like the best lyrics, maybe you have the best flow, right? What do you feel like makes hip hop like so unique for you? At least like, what do you listen for? Is it the lyrics? Is it the flow? See, what do I listen for versus what do I make? is two different yeah. things for okay. me. Um, listen for it just I, it really depends on the mood because again i feel like i can learn yeah. something from anybody i feel like a five-year-old could teach me something mm. so i'm gonna listen to the ignorant music because it's like that's so ignorant and it's still selling and it's still streaming so like there's a market for it right uh this is so conscious but there's still a market for it this is so whatever so i listen to a little bit of everything mm -hmm. as far as what i'm making um i don't necessarily have a goal for every single song it's because of the fact that i don't want to put it in the box i'd rather just make it mm -hmm. and then okay cool as long as it comes out because i got so much music that i don't release mm -hmm. okay cool as long as it comes out i'll let the people figure it out mm -hmm. from there you know what i'm saying Amen. but uh but i get inspired by a little bit of everything because it just it, it lets me know that any there's a there's a market for everything yeah. you know what i mean you can literally just like tap your foot and burp on a song and somebody oh, yeah. can let play that bitch on read. Yeah. So it's like, you just gotta... You look at the last Kendrick album, what, he had the tap dancing going exactly. on? Exactly. Yeah, and exactly. it's like, who was he thinking about, like, rapping with tap dancing? And then he put it in, yeah, it was yeah. like, it was like poetry, he had, like, high, cool type shit. Oh, like, yeah. It was just a lot, it was a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I love that, I love that. Mm -hmm. So I know you're getting ready to perform yes, coming up sir. here. Yeah, what are the songs you're gonna be playing tonight? So I'm doing Running. Okay. Uh, that song, I did it for my last EP. Not my last EP, my last EP. You ever heard of Zotico? Yeah, yeah. So, so me and a partner... That's New Orleans right there. Yeah, exactly. So me and a partner of mine did a uh, tape called Flydico. Okay. It's like Fly Zotico. Right, right, yeah. Right, right, yeah. Sweet Spread Love. So we dropped that this year. And then last year, I dropped an EP called Done. Because I was like, man, I'm, like, I'm almost done with music, man. I'm about yeah. to stop. We're going to see how this do, or else I'm done type shit. So I dropped mm -hmm. a song called Running. I went back home, recorded the video. With my, with my people, you know what I'm saying, my cousins, we getting drunk and just chilling at my mama house type shit. Mm -hmm. So I'm starting off with that one. Then we got a song called uh, Second Line that we're doing from this Flotico tape. Oh, yeah. And then uh, the last song is going to be Everything, which is a song I've been performing for a while. Okay. I'm going to need you out in the crowd because... You got I get, me. I, yeah, I get, I get the crowd to jump in with me, mm -hmm. and it's like a call and response, and we get energy, and it's about basically you want everything. Cool. You want everything, all the drinks, all the females, all of everything that you ever wanted. And that song is just like high energy, and I ended off with that. So it's going to be those cool. three songs. All right. Well, I'm excited to see it, man. I appreciate you coming and doing the interview appreciate today. You, Absolutely. Appreciate it, bro. Of course. Cool. We'll see you up there. Peace.